This video will talk about how to find the gradient of a line, or also known as slope, only being given one angle. Uh, you should know that the gradient of a line is equal to tan theta, which would be this angle, the yellow angle. I'll highlight that yellow. And we also know that tan theta is equal to sin theta over cos theta. So this is another way that you can figure out the gradient. I'll solve some examples. You should know that the angle must always be on the right side. So this is right, but we can figure that out by tan. But to figure this one out, we need to we need to figure out this angle, so you just do 180 minus that. Same with this one, we need to figure out what's this angle here. Oh, oh whoopsies, it's going to close. It's going to, no it's not, I'll just wait for it. Okay. Now the first example I will do for you here. Because it is on the right side, we just have to write tan theta equals m. And because theta is 56.3, tan theta, oh, oh, I don't know how to erase, maybe like this. <laughs> that took a while. Tan 56.3, if you type it into your calculator, it should come up with 1.5. And three six fig, sig figs just add a zero. On to the second one. Now we have to figure out what this is. And this is what we're going to be finding out. So what I just do on the calculator is I would do. So we know that tan theta equals m. So I just do tan one. 80 minus 42.3 equals m, and that equals to negative 0 0.910, as it should be because the slope is going down. And last one, we need to figure out what this is, and we know that is 45. You don't even need to do a calculation because we know that tan 45 degrees is equal to 1. Tan 45 degrees is equal to 1. Now let's do some questions where we actually have to figure out theta ourselves, given a coordinate. Now we know that the gradient of a line, just the general formula, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can just use that to just substitute it in. Y, the y, the, oh I'll write it down so it makes sense. Uh, the x2 and, oh. Will it rub out anytime soon? Okay. X2 is a, oh. X2, Y2 coordinates will be P. And the X1, Y1 will be the origin right here. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Delete? Where's the delete button? Okay. So let's go on with the first example. I'll increase the brush size so it's easier for you to read. Um, okay, so the first example. We're given P, and I created a formula just to help me out when I, um, when I do these types of examples. So it's just easier. So theta equals 10, negative 1, M. And this is basically because to figure out to figure out the angle we used tan and if you just to get rid of tan you have to find the inverse to get rid of it and that's why there's the inverse on the formula down there. Just like you see there. 
So you just substitute the values in. So m, you have to find out m. So m would be y2 minus y1. So 0 0.738 minus 0 over 0 0.674. If you type that into the calculator, it should be 1.0949. And I do suggest you keep it long and don't reduce it to six, to three six figs um, in between working out. Otherwise, that would reduce the accuracy at the end. So you go and just substitute that in here. So I'll just scroll down. So theta equals ten negative one one point zero nine four nine six. And from that we know that theta equals 40, how much is it? 47.6. It equals 47.6 degrees. Now let's go on and do the next question. So this one, we can tell that the gradient is negative already. And this is above the 90 degrees. So 0 equals 10 negative 1 m oh not 0 equals <laughs> theta equals so theta equals 10 negative 1 substitute the m in so 0 0.0 0 0.942 divided by negative 0 0.336 and you plug that whole thing into your calculator and it should pop out with negative 70 degrees. Now that is not theta. <clears throat> theta would be 180 minus 70 degrees. That's why there's a minus there. And that equals 110 degrees. <sighs> And the last one, remember I told you to always, that 10 always works, only works if we find out, oh, I'll use another color, if we find out the angle on the right hand side, so we need to do that. So I, I use the same formula, but kind of twisted it, I guess. So theta in this case would equal 180 minus all of this because think about it it's if we're given this side then this side would be 180 minus this side if that makes sense and that's just basically the reason and lo logic behind how i drive the formula minus just 10 negative 1 m running out of space so theta equals 180 minus 10 inverse and m in this case would be 3.76 divided by 1.59 drive from here and the reason why i'm not doing minus y y1 and minus x1 is because it's the origin so it will just be minus 0, minus 0, and that's not time efficient or useful at all. If you plug that whole thing into your calculator, you should come out with 113 degrees. And there is your answer. Hope that helped. <laughs>